and we're back first to another episode of DGS 2. We are in the middle of talking with Vortex, where Vortex has uh, lifted the ban on Naruhodo, so now he can actually uh, stand in court again. Already he's throwing a case at him, and I'm sitting here like, was this all planned out? Because I feel like Vortex had this all planned out. Anyway, the International Forensic Investigation Symposium. Ah! Various international meetings have been occurring around the world along with the opening of the World's Fair. And next month, the most important among them, and the largest scale one, will begin at last. That's the International Forensic Investigation Symposium. Sounds like the era where science is used in investigation is finally just around the corner. Indeed! Right around the corner! Culture, technology, wealth, London, the reservoir for everything that matters in the world, currently has a population of 6 million. And unfortunately, the number of crimes has risen exponentially as well. Therefore, we must implement the newest investigative methods in order to fight that crime effectively. Um, so that means scientific investigation, right? Indeed, that's exactly what it means. Ah! However, unfortunately, I must admit that the scientific investigative techniques in our country are lagging behind others. Uh, I see. That sounds like a rather serious problem. Indeed! Quite serious! Ah! <laughs> Poor Iris! She's just startled by, like, Vortex is shouting! If I were the Attorney General of Great Britain, the number of crimes being committed in London and the number solved would be completely different than they are today. And I can list 12 major reasons and 223 bases for that. Uh, ah, my phone's going off. I'm gonna move that over there. Allow me to give you a simple exclamation of them as an apology for having kept you waiting. Th what? Oh, I'm really curious. Actually, 15 years ago, I... Oh, dear God. Oh, dear God, Vortex! This is a man who loves to hear himself talk. Naro, don't fall asleep now! <laughs> well, that was just a general outline, but I think you get the picture. I shall establish a formal, specialized department of forensic investigation within Scotland Yard. It's my duty to do so. What do you think? I... I see. That sounds amazing. Indeed, it's amazing. <laughs> Iris Chan isn't listening at all. She picked out a book. Oh, it's over? Well, did you learn anything useful? I was unconscious for most of it. He's an unexpectedly passionate person. Yeah. I think he just likes to hear himself talk. Okay, we're gonna present this thing now. No, not examine. Present, present, present! What the... Do done? We're gonna, like, go through another menu and do it. Oh, that's right! Could you have a look at this, please? Oh, -ho, I knew it! It looks like the World's Fair exhibitions are a huge success. No, not that. The part on the back. On the back. On the back. Deathbringer attacked. Ah, I see. You've managed to win several not guilty verdicts against the Grim Reaper, haven't you? Um, what happened to Reapy? Don't tell me. He died? Oh, I was so worried. Not to worry, the Grim Reaper can't be easily killed. Um, would you mind telling us more? I suppose I could, if I feel like it. And when will you feel like it? You're gonna feel like it right now! The Grim Reaper lives. Thankfully, Lord Baroque Van Zeeks is unharmed. He's incredibly adept at handling himself. The rogues of the city can't hope to compare. His opponents had guns. I guess I should have expected as much. Um, why would they attack Prosecutor Van Zeeks in the first place? 
It all happened one month ago. A man who many refer to as the king of certain criminal organization was prosecuted by Lord Van Zeeks. However, the verdict was not guilty. We're assuming that a great deal of money was changing hands behind the scenes to ensure that. A great deal of money? It's truly sad. Apparently the jury was brought off, bought off, and that man, cleared of his charges, met a terrifying death yesterday. No way! Was that the Grim Reaper's doing? At the very least, the members of the organization must have thought so. The name of the man who met that untimely death was Conrad Kingsley. So now does his name make sense? Uh, Mr. Kingsley? That's the person who died in that huge accident or explosion. The face he shows to the general public is that of an investor, but his true identity is the boss of a criminal organization. Con man? Kingsley? Okay. Oh god. There's something I'd like to there's something I'd like to ask you, Lord Vortex. What might that be? Why do you allow Prosecutor Van Zeeks to stand in court? The criminals who get not guilty verdicts meet mysterious deaths outside the court. And criminals, fearing that, try to get revenge on Lord Van Zeeks. And yet there's no proof that Lord Van Zeeks is the Grim Reaper at all. Something seems wrong about this. There are two reasons that I allow Baroque Van Zeeks to prosecute. The first is that Lord Van Zeeks is the most outstanding prosecutor in all of London. And s the second is that Lord Van Zeeks has absolutely nothing to do with the deaths of the criminals who lose their lives outside of court. But if no one were directly responsible for it, they wouldn't all be dying. It's impossible. Lord Van Zeeks may be the Grim Reaper, but he's no serial killer. That's why I allow him to prosecute in the Supreme Court. As long as he continues to wish to do so. That seems kind of ominous. Now then, I must be off to my next meeting. I'm already 11 hours and 16 minutes late. I wouldn't be surprised if they're all fed up with waiting. That's literally almost the whole day. 11 hours? That's incredibly late. Hardly. I was already late before I even came here. Given the circumstances, even I have no choice but to prepare for the worst. Maybe those 12 reasons and 223 bases will do the trick. <laughs> um, do you know where Prosecutor Van Zeeks is right now? Yes, he's likely in his office. Maybe I should try asking him about the attack. Ooh, we're going to the prosecutor's office. Now then, I'll be going. Take care of Dr. Dirtpoor for me. R right, thank you very much. B bye. Enjoy your meeting that you're literally a day late for. All right, we're gonna go to the prosecutor's office now. Oh boy. Of course, it's really high-end and fancy. Same day, unspecified time, the prosecutor's office. Oh, so this is the famous Reapy's office. Yeah, I guess so. Oh, it feels like someone might have died in here. Just like the rumors say. Great, it's just full of death in here. Oh? Who's that? I didn't even notice him there. I wonder who he is. What are you doing here? Ah! Hi, Baroque! We're, we're totally not snooping around or anything or looking suspiciously at the man sitting in the corner. It's like I expected. No, he's even less welcoming than I expected. Um, I'm really glad you're all right. <laughs> and a few words, I understand. Uh, um, who's that person getting punished over there? It's not punishment. 
Uh. That's my apprentice. He's sitting there because he wishes to. Apprentice? He must be the one in the photo in the article. He handles himself well. Unnecessary quality in an apprentice of mine. Because of the attacks on you as the Grim Reaper? Grim Reaper? Hmm? I certainly like to meet whoever he really is one day. Assuming that person is actually involved with the Supreme Court. That's a new animation. He was holding his prosecutor's badge thingy. Anyway, we are going to go ahead and look around his place. The Lord's chalices and Lord's bottles are arranged beautifully here. The Lord's bottles are filled with the highest quality grapes, which I selected from the vineyard myself. And the crystal cups are made with the craftsman's most advanced techniques. But that doesn't stop you from tossing them around like mad in court. That's because of all the nonsensical claims this man makes. What? You do well to consider the bitterness of the craftsman tears. Wow, don't blame it on Narahodo! I never even considered the possibility that it was all my fault. It is not your fault! This is just Baroque being Baroque. This is Lord Van Zeek's work desk. Everything about it is very elegant. Next to it is a marble chess set. Chess. That must be the Western-style shogi that I've heard so much about. Actually, I know I don't look it, but I'm pretty good at shogi problems. Oh, they have those in chess too, but they're called chess problems. I'd like to try challenging Lord Van Zeeks to a match someday. A shogi problem match. I think you should just have your fun with that at home. Okay, not as good at shogi. Good to know. But this portrait hanging here is kind of, um, intimidating. The dignity it portrays is most impressive and solemn. But unfortunately, for a portrait of Lord Van Zeeks, it doesn't look much like him. Hmm, you're right. It's not that it doesn't look like him, but the artist made him look too cool. Come to think of it, I've heard about this before. When Francis Napoleon would have an artist draw a portrait of him, he'd order them to make him look extra handsome. But isn't there something really uncool about that as a person? But that's not a portrait of me. You should have been able to tell that by looking at it. But then, who's it of? And he doesn't answer, of course. Bro, stop being difficult. Wow, look! The world's fairgrounds has been painstakingly reproduced! This is amazing! What's something like that doing here? Maybe he's sad because he's too busy to go to the real thing, so he's trying to satisfy himself with this. Or maybe he's too embarrassed to go get in line with everyone else and can bring himself to go even though he wants to. Wow. Wow, you two! Obviously, it's an investigative tool and nothing more. Ah! Don't make other people out to be shy just because it suits you, Japanese boy. <laughs> Baroque. Ugh. I didn't think he heard me. <laughs> oh my god, Iris and Naruto are so savage, like, outside of court. But, you know, to be honest... Baroque is kind of a mean-spirited person in court, so this is payback. Ah! Those... were bats! Maybe they're Reapy's apprentices, too. But he was, he's already got one dark, silent apprentice. That one doesn't fly, though. <laughs> okay, maybe they're Reapy's friends, then. If that's the case, maybe it was better when they were his apprentices. Other choice is scary. <laughs> of course.
scores, bats. They're, they're doing very well making him come off as like a freaking Dracula motif here. Wow, this wall is crammed with antique barrels. Barrels in the grim in a Grim Reaper's office. It's kind of creepy. Wait, you don't think there's bodies of people who try to escape their guilty verdicts in here? Those are wine barrels that I've collected. What on earth are you imagining? But sorry, you had to explain it to us. Please, pay us no mind. You two are insulting me so loudly that I have no choice but to explain. <laughs> I love all of this. Also, you! Hello! <laughs> it really looks like he's being punished. I've never seen anyone sit like that before. He hasn't moved an inch since we're, we've been here. Maybe he's dead. Wow. If he were dead, he wouldn't sit, not Otokun. Whether he's dead or alive, it doesn't feel like we should talk to him. No, we should totally talk to him. Definitely. 100%. I told you he's not dead. Okay, that's all the dialogue I got. So, let's talk to Mr. Grumpy Face here. The attack last night. I heard from Lord Vortex that the attack last night was because of revenge. That's right. It was those devils from Conrad Kingsley's criminal organization. By putting a little effort extra, a little extra effort into the investigation, we were able to round them all up. They must have intended to take me out before that happened. Conrad Kingsley. On the surface, he appears to be one of London's most successful investors. However, his impressive wealth actually comes from the villainous activities of his criminal organization. He uses that money to buy not guilty verdicts for his crooks, doesn't he? I think he tried that in one of Reapy's trials of all places. And he ended up dead. Yesterday, and in the most peculiar of ways. Uh, I heard about that. Because of the hyperelectric instantaneous teleportation technology, right? The device exploded on the experiment exhibition stage, and Mr. Kingsley lost his life. Precisely. I am not a god. I- I am not a god. Are you claiming that I caused that accident during the public science exhibition? Well, I guess not. That probably would have been impossible. Looks like the Grim Reaper standing before me is innocent. But it's still a strange turn of events. I mean, Narukuru- kun here is going to be defending the doctor in court tomorrow who caused the accident. What? Your- the defense? Yes, actually I am. If memory serves, his name was... Benjamin. It's Benjamin Dirtpoor. Uh, do you know the defendant? Of course I know him. He was my classmate, back when I was a student at London University. Huh? Hey? What? Your classmate. According to what I was told, Dr. Derpor is from Germany. He's a pure-blooded Englishman. He graduated from London University and immigrated to Germany to pursue his research. And he was your classmate. I was studying law and he was studying science. Our pursuits may have been different, but... He got along surprisingly well. I haven't seen him since we graduated, though. I never dreamed that the next time I heard his name would be in a situation like this. Now you're telling me that you're the one defending him. Ugh. Oh, if looks could kill, I'd be toast. Come to think of it, apparently the charge Dr. Dorpor is facing is murder. I know. After all, the one prosecuting his trial is me, of course. What? You're the prosecutor in charge of his trial? But I thought Dr. Dirtpoor was your classmate. 
Not just a classmate, but a friend. But then, why? I mean... The defendants you've prosecuted never make it out alive! That's not entirely true at this point, is it? What's he thinking? The Grim Reaper's true identity. Um, so what did you mean earlier? When you said you wanted to know who the Grim Reaper really was. I'm a mere human posh- Posh? I'm a mere human prosecutor, not some sort of god. But all the people you take out- But all the people you take to court really do die, right? When Reaper's the prosecutor, it doesn't matter whether the verdict is guilty or not guilty. Everyone I've prosecuted so far in my career has been unquestionably a fiend. Their guilty verdicts are inevitable. Evitable. I have no complaints by about the ends they meet. But... Natsume Soseki-san wasn't unquestionably a fiend. Neither was Genie. She was doing well and working hard these days. These days, excuse me. That's true. Perhaps something has changed since I met you. In any case, I can't deny that all the fiends whom I've not been able to successfully prosecute have met mysterious deaths in the end. However, that's the work of someone else, and I'm afraid I don't know who they are. That's what Lord Vortex said too. He said you had nothing to do with it. But it's because of that that you're being attacked by bad people! Ever since I became known as the Grim Reaper of Old Bailey, the number of major crimes that have occurred in London has decreased dramatically. Even a Vortex says crime has increased dramatically. Eh? It appears that even the truly villainous fear for their own lives. So then... Does that mean... If there's any real meaning to the reason I'm referred to as the Grim Reaper, then I will gladly accept that illustrious title. But then, what if someday your own life is... That is something that's up to God to decide. Lord Van Zeeks. I love this. I appreciate that we are talking to Baroque outside of the courtroom's environment because you're getting a lot of stuff about this man. All right. Let's present the arm man. Um, about this. What's that? It's proof that I'm a defense attorney in the Great Japanese Empire. And what do you hope to accomplish by showing it to me? A prosecutor from the Great British Empire. Yeah, I guess you're right. But... There's value in attaching something to yourself to ensure that you don't forget your position. Eh? There's no need to show it to others. Just keep it close at all times. That was deep. <laughs> yes, thank you. I was expecting him to shrug it up, but no, he uh, he had a, a word of advice there. About this newspaper article. Ah, uh, apparently during the struggle, a reporter happened to be nearby. To think that there would be actually be a photo of it. Shamefully, I failed to notice it was being taken. It looks like it was taken after the bad guys had already run off. The police have managed to arrest every single one of them. By the way, in this photo, there's one man standing behind you. As far as I can tell, it appears to have been the same one that's sitting over there right now. As I stated previously, that man is my apprentice. I'd like to hear more about him, if you don't mind. I'd like to talk to him, too! Your apprentice. 
He's learning the prosecutor's profession by studying under me. I suppose you could call him my disciple. Like not Horokun it is, like not Horokun is to Homsi. I don't remember agreeing to be Homsan's disciple. He's currently working on creating reports pertaining to the attack last night. From what I can see, he seems to be wearing a mask. That was an order from Lord Vortex. No one knows what he looks like under that mask, nor does anyone know his origins. What are you doing teaching a suspicious person like that? That was also an order from Lord Vortex. He never does anything without a reason. He must have something in mind. I see. Vortex is getting fishier and fishier. Hello, he stood up and now is standing over here. Hi, how are you doing? Uh... Well done. Now, if you could put together a legal brief. A legal briefing? A legal brief. Hi. Uh, uh, hello. He went back to his seat. What's with this feeling I'm getting? I've never met that apprentice before, and yet... Somehow, it doesn't seem that way. Don't bother. He doesn't speak to outsiders. He was ordered not to by Lord Vortex. He's sure being ordered to do a lot of things by Vortex, and it's really fishy. Like, wearing a mask, not talking... Okay, I just... I see. But, what is it? Does something about him bother you? No. Thank you very much. The way he held himself without showing a single weak point, even though he was just standing casually. It can't be. Ah, uh, that reminds me. May I ask you something? Yes, what is it? Is that Japanese man doing well? Huh? A shaking mustache hunchbacked man who was arrested in two back-to-back -back incidents around six months ago. Oh, you mean Soseki-san? Oh, he's asking about how he's doing! I think he might be a little offended if he knew you recognized him from that description. Yes, he's fine. I actually got a letter from him the other day via International Post. I see. In that case, I believe we've said all there is to say. There's not much time before tomorrow's trial. You'd best get to investigating. Right. Thank you for taking the time to talk to us. For as racist as he is, he, um... He actually did sad talk to us and didn't tell us to leave the office. I can't believe that Prosecutor Van Zeeks is worried about a Japanese person. About Soseki-san. It gives me this curiously happy feeling. Oh. What? Who could have dreamed that that clumsy doctor would end up being a friend of Freebies? Talk about a surprise! That clumsy doctor? Oh, you mean Dr. Dirtpoor? I might try asking about his relationship with Prosecutor Van Zeeks later. Well, later is definitely gonna happen. We have like, uh, about a minute? Well, okay, now it's not a minute. The timer is now telling me it's now been 30 minutes. So, we will talk to Mr. Dirtpoor in the next video. I will see you guys then.